Hi everyone, I'm Tina Amir and welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna learn a very simple lesson which I think you will need it for everyday life. If you watch my first video, it's a video about why you should learn Malay. And in that video, I mentioned that Malay has no tenses. I mean, Malay has no past tense, no present tense, Malay has no future tense, like English form. Most of you are wondering, how do I know it's past tense? How do I know it's present tense? How do I know it's future tense? Well, very simple. You will be very happy when I explain this to you. How do we know it? It's a past tense, present tense, or future tense. So based on the sentence, then you know. And you don't have to change anything like in English, like you have to memorize for 3D different forms. Okay, we go with past tense first. Dahulu. Dahulu is very formal. For informal conversation, we normally mention dulu. So, dulu or dahulu, it either means before, like long time ago or some time ago. This is a formal sentence I'm gonna share with you. Dahulu, saya suka menonton TV. Sekarang, saya hanya suka melayari internet. Dahulu or dulu is some time ago before, long time ago. Saya is I. Suka means like. Menonton from the root word tonton. So, menonton means watching. Sekarang is now. Hanya means only. Melayari internet is surfing the net. So, before, I like to watch TV. Now, I only like to surf the net. Malay, formal. Dahulu, saya suka menonton TV. Sekarang, saya hanya suka melayari internet. Informal, dulu saya suka menonton TV. Sekarang, saya hanya suka melayari internet. I have to mention to you, if you speak on a daily basis, you don't say menonton TV. You just say, tengok TV. Tengok means see. When you're watching TV, when somebody asks you, what are you doing? And you just say, tengok TV. Means you're watching television. And then, for Malayari internet, we don't say that for daily conversation. We just say, main internet. Main internet means, main is play. So, play internet. When people ask you, what are you doing? You just say, main internet. For daily conversation, Malay very simple. Next. Past tense in Malay, minggu lepas. Last week. Minggu means week. Lepas, pas is actually like lepaskan, let it go, something like that. But minggu lepas means last week. This is formal Malay form. Pada minggu lepas, saya melawat orang sakit. Pada minggu lepas means last week. If we wanted to narrate, we wanted to tell, then we put pada. It's like on last week, something like that. So, pada minggu lepas, saya melawat. Lawat is visit. So, melawat mean visiting. Orang sakit, orang people sakit sick. So, literally translate, last week I visited sick people. Normally, for daily conversation, we don't really say melawat. We just say lawat. Lawat orang sakit. Minggu lepas, saya lawat orang sakit. The next one is tahun lepas. Tahun means year. Lepas means let go. Tahun lepas means last year. This is Malay formal form. Tahun lepas merupakan tahun yang sangat mencabar buat saya. Merupakan, rupa is actually appear. So, merupakan like apparently tahun yang, yang is that, sangat is very. Mencabar from the word cabar means challenge. Buat saya, buat actually make but buat saya is for me. So, tahun lepas merupakan tahun yang sangat mencabar buat saya. Last year is the year that very challenging to me. Next one is 10 tahun lepas. 10 years ago. This is Malay form. Saiz badannya sangat kecil pada 10 tahun lepas. Sekarang sudah besar. Saiz badannya, his or her body size, sangat very, kecil small. Pada on 10 tahun lepas, 10 years ago, sekarang now, sudah already besar big. 10 years ago, his body or her body size, very small. Now, already big. Saiz badannya sangat kecil pada 10 tahun lepas. Sekarang sudah besar. That's formal. Informal would be size badannya sangat kecil pada 10 tahun lepas. Sekarang sudah besar. Next word is semalam. 
Semalam, se means one, malam means night. So, semalam actually means yesterday. This is formal one. Semalam, dia telah berjanji. Hari ini dia mungkin. Semalam, yesterday, dia, he or she, telah already berjanji from the word janji which is promise. Hari ini, hari ini means today. Mungkiri means, mungkiri is actually specific word when you break your promise. So, yesterday, he or she already promised. Today, he, today, he, she break it. We don't really say mungkiri for conversation. We normally say mungkir janji. Mungkir janji. Another one is empat hari lepas. Empat hari lepas mean empat four hari days lepas. So, four days ago. So, pada empat hari lepas, saya sakit perut. That's formal. Four days ago, pada empat hari lepas, saya sakit perut. I had stomach ache. Informal, pada empat hari lepas, saya sakit perut. Last word for past tense, tadi. Tadi means just now. Malay sentence, formal. Tadi, saya terserempak dengan seorang ahli politik. Tadi, just now, I, saya, terserempak means accidentally me. Dengan, we, seorang, orang people, seorang means one person. Ahli means member, politik is politik, but ahli politik means politician. In English, just now, I accidentally met with a politician. I guess that's all. Seven examples for our past tense. And you can see there's nothing changed in a structure form. Okay, now I'm going to give example on present tense. Sedang. For example, saya sedang makan. That's formal. Informal, saya sedang makan. Means I'm eating. In daily conversation, you normally don't say sedang makan. You will say tengah makan. Tengah means middle. It's like in the middle of eating. You say tengah makan. Another word is hari ini. Hari, day, ini, this. So, hari ini means today. Formal Malay sentence. Hari ini adalah hari yang penting buat saya. Hari ini, today adalah is yang that penting important buat saya, buat me, but buat saya is for me. So, today is the important day for me. Another word is sekarang. Sekarang in English is now, sekarang. But when we speak, we normally say sekarang. The example of the formal sentence, kita patut pergi sekarang. Kita, we, patut, should, pergi, go, sekarang, now. Informal, kita patut pergi sekarang. In English, we should go now. In Malay, kita patut pergi sekarang. Next, we move on to the future tense. Formally, when you have the word akan, akan actually in English means will. So, Malay sentence. Saya akan pergi melawat kawan baik saya. Saya, I akan, will, pergi, go, melawat. From the word lawat, visit, kawan, friend. Baik means good. So, kawan baik is like best friend or good friend. Saya means I. I will visit my good friend. Saya akan pergi melawat kawan baik saya. Formal, informal. Saya akan pergi melawat kawan baik saya. Another word is minggu depan. Minggu is we. Depan is front. So, minggu depan actually means next week. Example of the sentence for formal. Minggu depan adalah cuti sekolah. Minggu depan next week adalah is cuti holiday sekolah school. So next week is school holiday. Minggu depan adalah cuti sekolah. Same both formal and informal actually. Then another word is esok. Esok means tomorrow. Formal Malay sentence. Saya tiada di rumah esok. Saya tiada di rumah esok. Saya means I. Tiada means no or not. Di rumah means at home. Esok is tomorrow. I'm not home tomorrow. Saya tiada di rumah esok. Informal. But for informal daily conversation, saya tak ada kat rumah esok. And another word is Lusa. Lusa. The day after tomorrow. Formal Malay sentence. Kemungkinan 
Lusa saya hanya mahu berehat. Kemungkinan from root word mungkin which means maybe. Lusa the day after tomorrow. Saya I hanya means only. Mahu means one. Berehat from the word rehat which means rest. So kemungkinan lusa saya hanya mahu berehat. Formal informal kemungkinan lusa saya hanya mahu berehat. Probably the day after tomorrow I just want to rest. For daily conversation we don't really say mahu. We will replace it with nak. So kemungkinan lusa saya nak berehat je. Je actually from the word sahaja which means only. So we shorten it from sahaja. Sahaja only to je. Kemungkinan lusa saya nak berehat je. I guess that's all from me. I hope you understand and I hope you can see clearly now that Malay is easy that you don't have to bother yourself about changing the word into past tense, into present tense, into future tense. We totally don't have it. Thank you for watching me and I hope you can speak with people using all the examples I've given and see you again next time. Bye!